It's harassment, and bullying is harassment. Bullying has become a big problem, according to the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty Against Children. Over half of all children in America witness some form of bullying. California is one of the states with the highest level of bullying, including cyberbullying. In a response to a post on Facebook, Los Angeles resident Janine Beltrain writes, "Bullying is unacceptable." Clinical psychologist Christina Dino says, "Bullying typically starts in the home." And sometimes it's cultural. You get a lot of cultural problems too. You get you get some cultures that have a very high rate of domestic violence and abuse. And in their countries, not only is there nothing wrong with it, but there is such thing as honor killings, right? So if you have things like that, and then you come to a country where there's actually prohibitions against abuse, what do you know? You're not doing any. You're just doing what you're doing in Rome, but you're not in Rome anymore. Another Los Angeles resident, Chulita Gonzalez, responds to a. Another post on Facebook. She says she used to be a bully in elementary school, but now as an adult, she realizes that it's wrong and not safe for anyone. Now she firmly stands behind the no bullying plea that many are trying to conquer and end. A new addition to bullying is the term cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is nameless and faceless,、mm-hmm. so you could do this on Facebook. You could start rumors. And it's all nameless, and it's particularly spineless. You know, you're not seeing somebody face to face or calling somebody something to their face. It's completely anonymous.、Oh. Prohibitions against. I mean, there are there are laws against cyberbullying. The only thing is that it's hard to prove it. Yeah. You, you can use different accounts, so that's hard to prove.